Pride is the best. They offered a life skills training 10 week course program that helped me learn a lot of new and different life skills. At first, I didn't want to do the program, but my mom, she convinced me. And I'm happy she did because without this program, I would have never known how to deal with anxiety, how to communicate myself better, and it also confirmed for me the importance of having a positive self-image and using tools to help you do better in life. I definitely recommend this program to children my age in middle school and high school because it helps them out in life and it is a great program. Good morning, my name is Tate Hall and I go to Work Academy. The inspiration for my drawing is anxiety. Anxiety is a feeling of worry, nervousness, unease, typically about an imminent event or something with an uncertain outcome. This disorder can make being surrounded by people difficult and sometimes scary. Some thoughts that may go through your head can take over and you won't be able to stop them. There are certain coping mechanisms such as breathing and counting that can help ignore the thought. Sometimes it feels like everyone is looking at you and talking about you, but most of the time they're not. But that's what anxiety can make you feel like. Some of the thoughts that anxiety can cause will put you down and lower your confidence, but you have to try to look past that and try to see what you want to accomplish instead of reasons why you can. In life, we make many decisions. The average human makes 230 decisions every day. But as a kid, we don't have to make much decisions because other people make it for us. When you get older, you're going to have to make many more. Whether it's, should I eat pizza for lunch or should I watch my Netflix series? When decision making gets tough, it's important to use the three C's of effective decision making. Step one, clarify what decision you need to make. Step two, consider the possible alternatives. Step three, choose the best alternative and take the necessary action. Let's go right. In conclusion, decision making is not always easy, but with the three C's, you'll make the best decision possible. Good luck. Um, as you see, there is somebody smoking in this picture, and smoking is bad for you. It can destroy your lungs and cause you to, to get cancer, lose your jaw, and also death. And it is very bad to smoke and you should stop smoking because you might end up like that one day. Hi, my name is Latoya Alderbridge, and I just completed facilitating our first cohort of the Buffett Life Skills Program on behalf of Pride Bermuda at North Village Community Club. As you can tell, I am really excited about it. Um, initially, just a little nervous about how the students would take toward myself and my co-facilitator, Judy, but they had a great time every week we were learning and having fun learning at the same time which i think is very important for middle schoolers just feeding them information is never going to captivate them but they had such a great time and as judy and i went through the motions of the program we were learning new things about ourselves and how we can interact with the students more and also how what we can integrate for the second cohort and of course, dealing with COVID, you know, initially we started out in person and then we had to go on to Zoom. Zoom wasn't as fun for the students, but once we got back in person, we had a great time and we were able to wrap it up with some fun and snowballs with the students. And I am sure they can reiterate all of the life skills they learned from learning about decision making to social skills to drugs and tobacco and how to communicate positive communication negative communication um, non-verbal and verbal communication there is a plethora of information and i definitely would recommend this program to any facility organization sports program i just think it is a great great program and i can't wait for cohort number two be a part of the pride life skills club 
showed me how to be a sergeant by using iMessage. Do you know iMessages can help us talk in a polite way about things that bother us? For example, Mommy, I am so angry because I let you play with my Beyblade and now it's broken. I really like to share my stuff with you but you have to take care of it so I can trust you next time. iMessages get to the point of course without accusing the person. I think we should all use iMessages, don't you? Shout out to Pride City Jones, not to hot. So we can teach our youngest to strive, reach new heights and possibly fly. Nah, 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 nah. I'm killing this beat. Organize skills at a peak. I be trapping in the holes by a selling weed. I'm selling you these bars, cause I am a rock star. I be strumming the guitar, cause my car be running like my nose at the bar. Saw my boss and catch your eye, but I was trying to empathize and strategize what I learned in my eyes. Uh, uh, I don't got democracy because people be judging people based off of their skin. It don't make no sense. Because it's a sin. Smoking cigarettes places the lungs at risk. Tar collects in the lungs and makes them turn black. If a person smokes, their nice soft lung tissue becomes hard and dry. When this happens, the alveoli, the air containing cells of the lungs, can pop, making it harder to breathe. When a person's alveoli pop, they get a disease called emphysema. Nicotine, the name of the drug in cigarettes and e-cigarettes, is a stimulant that artificially speeds up the heart rate. Both the immediate and long-term effects of smoking are harmful to smokers' health and well-being. The best way to prevent these problems from occurring is to not start smoking in the first place. I hope you learned a lesson. Hi, my name is Jace Cross. And my name is Gladden Benjamin. We are the few who got picked by our parents to do pride. No, our parents demanded us. But during these Zoom meetings, we learned that smoking can cause you to have yellow teeth, bad hygiene, and also you can get black tar on your lungs, which makes you have black, bad breath. No way for that. You can also, if you drink alcohol, it, it can mess up your brain. Peer pressure. Peer pressure is when your friends are telling you to do something and, you're, and you have other friends just telling you not to do and you don't know which side to take you should always go to the side of friends who are telling you not to do it. Because they, they won't suffer the consequences for you. Thanks, Pride. Thanks, Pride. Thanks, Pride. Is, it, is it normal sometimes to feel angry? Yeah. Yeah? Why, why, why do you think, why do you think it, it, it's normal to feel angry? Is that an emotion just like any other emotion? Yes. Right? But the difference is it's not just feeling the emotion, but it's how we... What's important about it? Deal with it? How do we deal with it? Correct. Yeah, that's exactly it. Anger is an emotion just like any other emotion. Happiness, sadness, frustration. It's how we deal with it. And, and Jerry gave an excellent example of, of how we deal with it. Does anybody know how we feel when we get angry? Yeah, what, are some, what are some signs that we can, that tell us that we're getting a little angry? You start to, you start to sweat. Yeah. Ooh, you might start to sweat, yeah, that's a sign. How else might you feel? Hot and bothered. <laughs> Hot and bothered. And these are all signs that are kind of telling you what's going on. How else might you feel when you get angry? Frustrated. You might feel frustrated, yeah. Anything else that our body tells us? What about our heart rate? It increases. It increases. It increases. Exactly. It increases. So when it gets hot, when it gets sweaty, these are all signs that are telling you, oh my goodness, I'm starting to feel a little angry. Mm -hmm. Right? And that's our warning sign. We all have it. And then what can we do? Give an example of something we can do. Jada, you let us, you started us off really well with stopping and thinking about it. What's another method of dealing with anger? What's hey, something that we could do to kind of calm ourselves down? Take deep breaths. Take deep breaths. Meditate. Meditate. Yeah. Kina? 
do what you like to do. Yeah, yeah. Switch off. Switch right. could be what? Oh, I'm reading or something like that. Watch mm -hmm. TV. Have a nap. Yeah. You can just stop doing the same and make sure That could be it as well. And sometimes that means kind of sometimes it might mean walking away from a situation, right? Sometimes it might mean but the difference with walking away from a situation is not just kind of turning your back if somebody's talking to you. You have to use your communication skills. Yeah. Right? Can anybody tell me of what they could do if they feel like they need a moment? What could you say to just to, to express that? You could say I need a moment. You could just say that. Or are you going to say it in a, in a rough way? I need a moment. <laughs> right? So you got to say it in what kind of way? Calm voice. Calm voice. Your turn is important, yeah? Yeah. Okay, your turn is important. And you might want to ask the person, is it okay? No, brass is key in the side. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Good job, everybody. Hey man, can I have a pack of cigarettes? Mama, get his little but here you go. Hey, 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 stop right there. Do you have cancer, heart disease, and black lungs? I just want smoke. Well, if you want to possibly die, keep doing that. But if you, if you don't want to die, then stop. You know what? I'll quit smoking. Stop. Ask yourself what the decision or problem is. Think. Ask yourself what your choice or options are. Also think about the possible outcomes of each choice. Go. Do what is best for you. Decision making. Stop. Think and go. Should I stop or should I go? You can make decisions on your own, but some are not good for you. So you need somebody to support you. When you're in a bad position, this is what to do. Stop thinking, go. That's what to do. Ooh, ooh. First things first, you gotta stop. What you doing now? Second thing, second, you need to think about decision now. Third things first, you gotta do what you gotta do. And that's how you make decisions. Decision making. Self esteem is when you have a love of yourself. Self-esteem, self-esteem, you can do anything. Self-esteem, 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 you are so cool like, like I stand up pool. My name is Danny Brown and I attended Pride Bermuda during the COVID-19 pandemic. I was not sure if I wanted to take part in the after-school program as we could not meet in person. However, their Zoom sessions were interesting and fun. The Pride program is to help children learn about the harmful effects of drugs and damage it can do to your body. It provided me with tools to manage peer pressure. We also learned about decision making and its three steps. Stop and ask myself what the decision or problem is. Think about what my choices or options are. And go, do what is best for me. I will recommend the Pride program to other children my age as it gives you skills to create a positive path in life. Good Pride Bermuda. I'm Jody Virgil and I am proud to have been a Pride Botvin Life Skills Facilitator for North Village Community Club. We undertook our first cohort program this year, and I'm pleased to say that we had a successful program and the impact was great. To hear students tell us that they're making different decisions when they are faced with challenges is amazing. When they say that instead of being stressed out because of their work, they listen to music or they do some exercise, is making a different choice. When they tell us that instead of reacting in anger, they respond with more consideration, that's an impact. And we're so pleased that our young people are using the skills that we're teaching them to make better decisions. Thank you, Pride, and thank you, North Village.